All right, in case you did not realize, that operation is incredibly scary. Um, if you have a bandsaw or something that cuts very smooth or really high quality blade, it's not as bad, but this wood is quartered and it will split along the grain line. That's why I have this board is to kind of back it up and help. And you see, I had to support it because if not, it'll just split. If you look, just storing it for the time that I've had it. I had to glue it up in a couple of different places because it just split when I tried to move it very carefully. Excuse me. That is nothing, not a defect of the wood. This is on quarter. And it will split really easily under pressure of any kind or flex of any kind because it's a softwood, it's cedar, and it's just pine wood, or not pine, but spruce will do the same thing. This operation here is one of the scariest operations that I do building guitars because you can lose your top real fast. So now I need to cut out the back as well. So I'm going to move this over here. We're going to do the same thing. This is not as bad, but it can, you can damage it here too. So. All right, I have these in a cardboard, on cardboard. Um, I'm going to brace them soon, but I have cut these to size. I don't want them cupping and warping. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to put some wood like that. This might be overkill. I don't really care. I want this safe. And I don't really care. It doesn't matter whether anyone thinks that this is overkill or not. Um, I need this to stay good and straight. So what I'm going to do, I want it good and straight and flat. I'm going to pull this tape. Get that right. I'm going to pull this tape tight down onto the underside of that so that I get both. This is cheap Aldi tape and it does not tear straight it likes to play what you call games it don't matter as long as it's tape I'm gonna go like this on this one tear that's all I'm doing right now is getting it tight so that these flat beams press down on the
And it's fiddly, but it does not matter as long as I get it tight. So. Tighten that up. And you see, I'm just pulling it tight. This will do a couple of things. It will keep it flat, but it will also protect. And that's what I want it to do. I want it to be remain flat because humidity will fluctuate within my house. We do not have humidity control. That should keep it safe and keep it as flat as reasonably I can expect it to stay until I get opportunity to brace the top of the back. Thanks for watching.